What's the time signature of this groove? It's basically a 4 fourth bar plus one eight note triplet. This is the most common way to notate the groove, but not the most practical in my opinion, because you need a metric modulation on every bar. 13 eighths, it's the best solution if the piece is all or with a whole section in the same time signature. Four four plus one twelfth is the most correct way to use in rational time signature. If the tune is in four fourth, you just add a triplet without metric modulation. Here are three levels of difficulty using this structure. Okay, with triplets it doesn't sound that weird because they are widely used in music, but now with quintuplets and even more with septuplets later, you will see that things start to be complicated. What's the time signature of this? So this is a 3 fourth plus 2 16 not quintuplets. Again, the constant metric modulation doesn't make it practical. 17 16th works if the time signature doesn't change often, but in this case it doesn't really feel right. It looks like a 4 fourth bar plus 1 16th. In reality the groove is very different. Listen. Three fourth plus 1 tenth is the way to write it with irrational time signature. Here are two levels of difficulty using the structure. And now let's face some septuplates, shall we? This is a 3 fourth plus 4 16 note septuplates. You can write it with a 3 fourth bar plus 4 16th with the metric modulation, with a bar of 25 sixteenths, but it's strange if you are accenting one every seven notes. Check this out. With the irrational time signature is three fourth plus one seventh. Listen to these two grooves.
If you want to see how I almost died trying to protect my drums, watch this video. And if you want to see 120 years of drums in one video, watch this one. Pietro Valente out. Ciao.